So in today's video, I wanted to share with y'all kind of everything that I make and prepare in a day, kind of what we eat in a day. Of course, this is going to look different day to day, but I am trying to be more intentional about making three good meals a day. I am so guilty of just grabbing a quick breakfast bar in the mornings, sending my kids out the door with something quick and easy out of the freezer. And some days that is really necessary, but lately I have just felt that we are not giving our brain and our body the fuel and energy that it needs to just get us through the day, especially now that my oldest son is in school. I just want things to kind of just be a little bit better for him. So on this particular morning, I did a sausage hash and it was very simple to throw together. I think a lot of times when I think about making kind of a homemade meal, that task just seems really daunting. But then once I do it, it's usually pretty simple. So I just browned up one pound of sausage and then added in some onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. I had some leftover sweet potatoes, so I threw those in and let those brown up for just a minute. And then here I'm just making little wells in the sausage and then I added in a couple of eggs. I turned this down to low and then covered this and let it cook for about five minutes. However, I did get sidetracked by my kiddos and it cooked for a little bit longer than I wanted. So the egg was more of a soft or a hard boil consistency, but it was still very delicious. I feel like it gave us the energy and everything we needed to kind of get our morning going. So I highly recommend this recipe. And then moving into lunch, I typically don't enjoy a heavy lunch. I will usually make a snack plate for myself just to get in some protein. And then um, for my kiddos, we kind of just grab whatever we have on hand. So again, another area of my life where I just want to be more intentional about making a really good meal. A lot of times when Noah comes home from school, he's not super hungry. So a big lunch is usually never in the cards for us. On this particular day, my husband was actually home from school, from his job. And so we wanted something really fulfilling, but not something super heavy. We knew we were gonna have a busy evening, so I wanted something really fresh. Um, but something that would also keep us full for quite a while. So I had some vegetables in the fridge, a red bell pepper, a zucchini, a squash. So I just cut those up into bite-sized pieces and then I'm going to season those with Kinder's The Blend, some paprika, and then spray them really well with some avocado cooking spray. And then I pop those in my air fryer for about 10 to 15 minutes, I think on 360 degrees. I like to use my air fryer one, so I'm not heating up my kitchen, but also because it's pretty quick and easy. The cleanup's really easy, um, and I like that it gives it a crisp texture. And then I also had a turkey kielbasa sausage, so I just cut up half of that into bite-sized pieces and then added that in with our vegetables. And then once that was going, I like to cook some rice at the beginning of the week, so I usually always have a big bowl of cooked rice in our fridge ready to go. That way I can kind of pair anything and everything with it. My kids love rice. So during the week I'll either just add some chicken or we'll do some vegetables with it or maybe some beans and rice. Just something really simple that I can grab or if we're not having leftovers for my husband to take to lunch then he can grab some rice um, and something really simple to go with it. So I typically always have that on hand and I think it went perfectly with today's lunch. So just did some rice with a little bit of butter, salt and pepper, and then this vegetable blend over top. And it was very delicious and very satisfying.
typically make this big of a lunch. I'm more of a snack plate type of girl. Um, but my husband's home, it's fall break, and we have somewhere to be this evening. So we wanted a little bit more of a fulfilling lunch, but not something super heavy. So I think this is gonna just hit the spot with all of us. Um, it's really refreshing. You can throw any kind of vegetable into this, take whatever's going bad in your fridge, throw it into here. You can use chicken if you don't want to use sausage. Um, so really anything you have on hand would be good. And this makes really good leftovers. So if you work out of the home and you like to take lunch with you, I think this is a great recipe that you could even meal prep for the week. So I'll try to type out something down below of everything that I used, but that is pretty much it. And I'll meet y'all back here in just a little bit and we will make some dinner. So for dinner, I was really craving some soup. The weather has finally turned. It's pretty chilly in the evenings here so this just sounded really good we did a chicken tortilla soup and I don't know if I just haven't had it in a long time or if I was craving it I don't know but it was very delicious more so than I can even describe so I highly recommend this one I'll actually probably make it again um, this next week and take it to some family anyways so to get started go ahead and cook up some butter with a little bit of garlic throw in some chicken i just had some tenderloins but you can use a couple of breasts if you want and then i seasoned that with about half a package of some chicken taco seasoning and then a little bit of ground cumin i will of course have this typed out down below so you guys can get the exact measurements and then i did i think about five to six cups of chicken broth you can do more or less next time i'd probably do about four to five it was a little bit soupy or you can just add in more ingredients to kind of beef this up and then i'm going to add in some corn and then some tomato paste and then some beans I totally forgot or I would have added it, but you can add in some Rotel or some diced tomatoes. That would have been very delicious, but that one completely slipped my mind, so I didn't add it in, but next time I for sure will. I think it will add great flavor. I did some black beans, but I think you could really add any kind. Um, kidney beans would be really good in here as well. Just stir that, bring it to a simmer, and then be sure to cook this kind of low and slow. If you boil your chicken, for too long too quickly it's really going to kind of make your chicken tough so a little bit of a slow simmer is going to make this best and then just shred up that chicken and then when this is about done I like to take one block of cream cheese make sure that your cream cheese is really soft it'll just help speed up this recipe and then I like to take a whisk and whisk that in to break up all the clumps I threw in just a little bit of half and half to make it a little bit more creamy and then give that a stir and then once that's mostly melted add your chicken back in let this cook for I would say another five minutes and then once we put ours in a bowl we like to top it with some shredded cheddar cheese and then some tortilla strips which are by far my favorite part but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you got some recipe inspiration everything is linked down below and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see y'all in my next video